Welcome to Bear Cows TV. We're just watching a little bit of the new gameplay for Dragon Quest Treasure. So want to see exactly what's going on in this RPG because you know what time it is. Oh, this looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. This looks amazing. Yeah, so this is this is Dragon Quest Treasures, which you've been mm. playing. You're 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 pretty far in at this point, I think, right? All right. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more here at RPG News on Bear Couch TV. Let's get straight into it. This looks this looks great. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, they got the old school bar system. Oh, it's freeform fighting and whoa, that is. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's jarring seeing as I'm so used to the turn base for Dragon Quest. The fact that you get the free roam and actually fight. And then all your party members have like this health bar that makes them kind of look like enemies. I don't know. This is a prequel to Dragon Quest XI. Okay, this is a prequel. Uh, currently playing as the sister. Mia of, is her name. Of, yeah, Mia, who is the sister of Eric. Mm. Eric was a party member in Dragon mm -hmm. Quest XI. Um, and Mia made an appearance, but it just kind of as like a character. I don't think she was ever in the party or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and then, which, you know, Dragon Quest XI turn-based classic rpg exactly what is this thing charles what what am i what a, what kind of game is this yeah tell me more charles or action oriented and it's very mm. uh, <laughs> treasure focused as you could guess from the name yes um sorry there's some big truck outside um uh, yo i don't care about the truck tell me more about this game uh yeah i'm it's so eric and mia are just so into treasure and it's one of those things where they kind of wake up on their ship and they say, hey, we would really love to find some treasure. And then that's all the explanation you really need. It's like, yep, that's the main goal. Okay, treasure. just finding okay. treasure. All right, cool. Here, it's this like mm. pretty simple combat thing. There's like a dodge roll button. That okay, we got a dodge roll. With because I, it doesn't usually like interrupt your attack. So you kind of have to really pull oh, it out. When so you can't cancel out an attack and do a dodge roll. Got you. But uh, uh, this is really early on. Eventually, the, the world opens up a little bit more, and you're kind of just going through these uh, free roam areas. There's an icy world. There's okay, so you got world. zoning. World. All right. Um, I mean, is is it an open world game? It feels like it. So, so I will say there's a bunch of different worlds, and from the very beginning, mm. or from the very beginning, from the very three hours in. Oh, um, you got a slingshot. All right. Like I ain't seen that one. Different chances of your monsters finding treasure in these different places. Mm. Um, so it's actually really encouraged for you to jump around to each of these different zones. Oh. Found in my experience, the levels have scaled a bit. So it'll usually be like the closer you are to the first train station, they'll be a little uh, lower leveled. And then the farther you go, the more challenging it'll get. But oh, okay. same for like ice and desert and fire, whatever. Um, you can't just freely go between all of them. But once you're in kind of like a zone, um, you know, you're free to walk around. OK, Again, the farther you get, the higher the levels are. But all right. right. All right. That's cool. Um, oh, boy. It's one of these guys. Um, and then, then and what then, is that? You, I have like three. Bro, three, the three, whole monster on them. Isabel and Mogsworth, who all just attack automatically. Yes. Oh. Mm. Actually, like a an unleash the dragon ability, where you can kind of get them to do a special move. Oh, we got um, special. They are mostly passive, which. I oh, how we get like that thing over in the corner? Uh, uh, direction over what they do, but I haven't ever had like an issue where I've been like, oh, oh, man, I really want oh to shoot. This. You know, yo we can use the slimes um, yo we got right. bro we got monster abilities yo that's what's up <laughs> there's like um <coughs> like yo that's dope I, I love when games like you got a monster and then let you use and then their abilities pretty cool and it'll do extra damage but it says in the menu like but this is really hard to set up so it's mainly just something <laughs> you're hoping will work out um mm. so it's not really there is some strategy to it but the game is is a lot more focused on you being like, um, all right, Uzabella, it really likes uh, armor, and if you want to go to the desert, then she'll have a better chance of finding treasure because there's mm. no armor there right now. Okay. Um, and then they also give you these like I just used one earlier where 
the three that I have, I, they all do the same thing. I imagine. Yes. Like you'll oh, they all do the same thing. Depending on who's in your party and stuff in the future, right? Yeah, those Safe are those are assume. called uh, fortes. Uh, oh, fortes. I, uh, uh, Don't know what that really means, but okay. tell me more, yeah. sir. Uh, pretty oh. quickly. Uh, my favorite one is the sprint one, which is the only way you can sprint in this game. What? There's a sprint oh, one. That seems that seems nice. I keep clicking the left thumbstick yeah. like this to sprint, which puts you into like a sneak mode. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's literally okay, so you got a sneak mode when you click down on the I wish you could sprint more. I'm bad, but you need a, a certain type of animal in your party to sprint. Let's go. Okay, that's kind of annoying, but it's cool. Yeah, the game tries to get you to pick certain monsters to get certain treasure, but I find I pick them for the different fortes so I can get around easier. Mm. Yeah, there's air different air. fortes help you get around easier, but they wanted to help the experience when fighting monsters. I understand. Yeah. Yo, whoa. What the? Surprised by this game? I wasn't following it very closely. Mm. For some reason, the title, Treasures... Made me think it was like a puzzle game. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> Bruh, like I thought it was too. Yeah, I'm glad I watched this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, sheesh! From Dragon Quest. Homie just went crazy. Puzzle game yeah. featuring these, you know, these oh. characters from the game. Uh, so I don't know what I was thinking, but all right, was, let's go ahead and get this. Yeah. Oh. We, okay. So they can cast uh, little spells. Uh, all right. That's good support. That's what I'm talking about. As long as they ain't like Donald and Goofy and Kingdom Hearts, we okay. Like. Like. Um, mm, I guess mm. seven hours in, I, I still am getting all these tutorials of like, oh, the this. Oh, one, seven no hours in, you still in the tutorial? Like, Sounds like a classic like, RPG you know, to me. Like this, boom. Yeah. Soon I'll be able to craft them, so you can make mm. elemental ones to do different types of damage to. Enemies. Okay, they brought back the classic sounds. This, like, one That's what we need. They're pretty popular now. Where it's like, is this a response to Breath of the Wild? Or are they kind of going for an open? game where you can glide around and stuff like that or is it is that is it does feel a lot different yeah what were you going for different because of the way so every time you go out into the world your goal is to get treasure um, oh and your monsters can only hold so much of it so oh okay like you're gonna go out and spend half hour max in an area and then come back to get your treasure appraised and put it in your hoard all right i get it as opposed to breath of the wild which is a lot more about like the organic discovery of stuff yeah i guess the, the fact that you can unlock a glide to me just mm -hmm. it, 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 it just feels okay so we're gonna get a glide we're gonna get all type of cool oh, stuff that's what i like it here but we can only like each zone gonna take like 30 minutes just holding when it comes to collecting treasure that's that don't sound too bad definitely might have to do a little playthrough of this or maybe i'll make a little side series i don't know i didn't get a chance to finish dragon quest 11. um i could bring that back um it just takes some um, a little effort to bring it put out some more episodes but i would love to bring that series back or just continue with this treasure series because i love eric and um i haven't met his sister yet so that's good but yeah, I mean, as we're sort of falling into a cutscene here, I mean, that, I think that's a good look at Dragon Quest Treasures. Okay, well, the gameplay is pretty much over. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more here on Bear Couch TV. And yo, let me know what you're thinking about Dragon Quest Treasures. It looks like some cool a sidekick. Whoa, all right. So I'm guessing you get to choose between uh, who's what um, when it comes to uh, who you play with and all the little characters and mo monsters that help you out and it's cool that it's a little side quest basically it's a game that's a big old side quest about collecting treasure and i think that's dope so if you think that's dope let me know in the comment section below what you like about dragon quest treasures and i will see you next time here on bear couch tv make sure you click anything else on the channel so you can see exactly what's going on here we report all things rpg related and react to everything rpg as well so don't be shy go ahead and subscribe